What to do, y'all? Today we want to see how we get down to New York. Straight to it. Let's get it. Nobody wins when the family feels. Let me hop in that car, man. That's why y'all stop the interview at. Let me hop in that car, man. <laughs> oh, Lord, that's New York. New York, baby. Yo, I love my city. Let me hop in that car, man. Let me hop in that car, man. Man, I ain't gonna lie, I don't need to see them. Been gathering overnight oh. near the shot. This is brand new video from the scene. Officers say that someone drove by and shot out of a car. They say a large crowd has been gathering overnight near the scene. Police are searching for the suspect this morning. <laughs> in the corner and all that something, I heard boom. You know, yeah, I fell in that grass. Mm. Just trying to go to the story. Hey, I ain't gonna lie, that ain't the story. Look how the mom looked to the right. I ain't no police, but I ain't. Yeah, I'm feeling that grass. Mm. Just trying to go to the store. <laughs> Couldn't make it, so. She rubbed um, her they leg. They told me it was one gunshot. That was the one to the arm. When I got to the sixth floor, it was two gunshots, one in the back. The Boys and Girls Club. Black Shell is accused of using an AK-47 in that shooting. Not too far from where he was shot, family and friends gathered to remember 24-year-old Jalen Everett. The boy could dance his butt off, you know what I mean? You know, he was an artist, he was a rapper, you know? He was just a human. That's all I could say. He was a human being. Everett was shot near Dewey Avenue Saturday. I ain't gonna lie to you. It be like that in the hood sometimes. He could be almost talented. Yo, you know how much next Kobe Bryant's had him met in New York? Mink, mink, mink. To win his back, put him on the back. <laughs> Saturday night, he later died at the hospital. Everett was one of three that stood trial for the murders of Raquan Manigault, Jonah Barley, and Johnny J.R. Johnson. The man murdered on East Avenue over the weekend was one of the suspects acquitted in the triple murder outside the Boys and Girls yeah, Club almost a day. He doing it to you. That boy doing it to you. Decade ago. Check this out, family. Imagine leaving your local basketball game with your kids at a local boys and girls club. And when you and several others attending the game leave out the wreck center front door, suddenly a man hanging out the car come freezing down the street. Out the window is a firearm with his hands, AK to be specific. He let off dozens of rounds, striking more than seven people, leaving three deceased on the scene. And at this point... Yo, bro, I already know how that was. <laughs> Stop. All hell break loose. And all family members not the same. If the Justice Department can't get it done. And, and you know how you know it was like that? He got one in his back, one in his arm. That mean they caught something, right? He was running. Mop, 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 mop. Boy tried to run inside the building thinking he was safe. Y'all know like paid in full. Boy came out with a pocket rock. Walk down. That's how we do it down there. We walk down. We don't just want to out the car. We want to kind of want to sniff them. You know what I'm saying? That's just New York. I ain't going to lie to you. They still ain't find me. Well, I ain't going to say too much. A lot of people would get it done themselves. Here's the thing, family. Apparently, the law couldn't come through on convicting two of the three victims allegedly involved. I said I ain't going to say too much. I, look. Thank you for reporting Family TV, but there's just certain things you don't know. You gotta be on a block. Ma, ma. And it wasn't evidence, it was based on technicality. Then, some loved ones decided to take matters in their own hands. Some say, rightfully so. But by the end of this video, I want you guys to let me know if they was wrong on that. Now sit back and enjoy this in-depth trial of a mass shooting at a rec center back in 2015 to have him retaliate. Oh! I, yo, I went to Lafayette. I graduated 2016. I heard about that bitch. Oh. Asians, almost over a decade later in 2023. So before we get into this one, remember, family, I don't give you no angle. I just give you the story. 
So with that being said, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And we're gonna jump right to it. It may just have closed the book on the last thing. man standing involved in a 2015 shooting at a rec center. But remember, revenge don't have a date on it. In August of 2015, it was a daily shooting at a boys and girls club in Rochester, New York. I was about to say, because Rochester, Rochester for sure is one of them places, and uh 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 uh. Like, and we we always talk about New York, but there's like segments in New York. Like, we're not like Cali, where Los Angeles is the biggest part of No, nigga. New York got Manhattan, Bronx, Brooklyn, Long Island, Staten. Uh, we're not going to include Staten Island. Staten Island not really is uh, the borough, it's a country. We don't jack that motherfucker. You, they, you can ask anyone. You don't jack that motherfucker. You say upstate, we say where you from, because you're not from New York. <laughs> That's the point. You from Rochester, my nigga? You the closest thing to New York. That'll tell you how dangerous it is to be out there. You are the closest thing to New York if you you are from Rochester, my nigga. Them niggas get down. They get to it. And it's, a li it's gritty out there. I ain't gonna cap. That's right. Three people are dead and four others injured after a shooting. It happened at a boys and girls club in New York. This is brand new video from the scene. Officers say that someone drove by and shot out of a car. They say a large crowd has been gathering overnight near the scene. Police are searching. Oh, yo, for the niggas that say, oh, the, the, the hypocrisy, I ain't a hypocrite. Yo, next generation, go on, get that strap. Them old niggas is not respecting us. Niggas my age too. Yo, young niggas. Yeah. I ain't a hypocrite. You see someone fucking with you, up that flame on them. I'm a different approach type of nigga on YouTube. Don't, don't be doing all of that shit and expect you not to see the next day. <laughs> Send that nigga up, bro. I'm all for it. Send him up like his fucking dog tags, my nigga. Kill confirmed. Yeah for the suspect this morning. <laughs> Live at the breaking news desk, Joshua Cole, 4029 News. Now, three people end up losing their life. Raekwon, Jonah, and Johnny. May they rest in peace and love condolences to their family. But over five people were struck, some going to local hospitals on personal transportation. Now, it wouldn't be to a month later, but a guy you see on the... Now, I ain't saying death is needed. What I am saying is... A motherfucker gonna die someday. Today gonna be a good day to die. And if you banging, nigga, you live by that quote, nigga. You ain't gonna die, nigga. <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> and if you not banging, what I said just scared the shit out of you. But you know what? Stay in school. For real. No screen above, family. At the time, just 21 years old, Johnny Blackshell Jr. He was arranged on a separate charge. Not at this point connected to the triple homicide on Rochester Southwest side. He was charged for an alleged armed robbery just two weeks before that shoot. At Lake Avenue convenience store, Black Shell was accused of using a handgun to rob the store of $150 and some cigars. A clerk at the store had identified Black Shell and a weapon, which was recovered from Black Shell's car. $150 and some cigars is crazy, bro. Oh, that's crazy Along work. with the clothing allegedly taken from Eastview Mall store on August 24th. Prosecutors said between those two dates, on August 19th, Black Shell fired from a car into a crowd outside the Boys and Girls Club on Jeanette Street. Black Shell was accused of fatally taking the life of Raekwon, Jonah, and Johnny. Federal charges against Johnny Blackshell Jr. are in connection with an alleged armed robbery at a Lake Avenue 7-Eleven convenience store on August 4th. Authorities say a handgun was used in the robbery where $150 and cigars were stolen. Blackshell is also charged with possessing a hand. Yeah, this is why I don't like watching the news, bro. Them Wayne niggas is going to let you know how stupid you look. $150 and six cigars, bro. Handgun found in a few oh. mall. Effective. Uh, for that's from some magistrate Jonathan in city court in connection died and Blackshell is accused of using an AK-47 in that shooting. Whoa, whoa, the boys eight. Three died and four others were wounded as they left the basketball game at the boys in, in Blackshell. Charge against Blackshell complicated as it may be connected to state charges Blackshell faces. Black. So he. <laughs> I sped through it because I, I know part of it. I just wanted to make sure that I wasn't bugging. 
The nigga robbed the corner store for $150 and some cigars. And then now he's connected to a shootout at a recreational gym. My boy just woke up on some shit today. I'm glad y'all took him off the streets and glad he got a chance to clean it up. That's the generation we live in there, man. Oh, get the strap. Shell is charged with first-degree murder in city court in connection with the August 19th drive-by shooting of seven people on Genesee Street. Three died and four others were wounded as they left the basketball game at the Boys and Girls Club. Black Shell is accused of using an AK-47 in that shooting. Federal prosecutors declined to comment on any connection between the Genesee Street incident and the 7-Eleven robbery. A lot of the times uh, uh, we'll see uh, an indictment that may include some of the same complaint of conduct on the state charge, but uh, under a uh, different theory. Under uh, we feel we're gonna come right there because there's there's no reason to be watching all that. Guilty is the verdict on three counts of second-degree murder and three counts of assault for Jalen Everett for his role in the killing of three people outside the Boys and Girls Club in August 2015. Everett was found not guilty on three counts of first-degree murder and two counts of assault. Everett was convicted in the shooting deaths of Raekwon Manigault, Jonah Barley, and Johnny J.R. Johnson. They were with a group of others who had just left the basketball game at the Boys and Girls Club and we're yo i ain't gonna lie that's yo for all y'all niggas that be waking up coming to the recreational gym don't even be wanting to play ball go take your ass down to the block go grab yourself a gun and go shoot up somewhere for real go kill yourself somewhere else we coming to no recreational gym where people want to play basketball and be that tough guy on the block the block over there not in the recreational gym my nigga like that's that shit corny as hell so you know our piece of those three it was probably I'm not trying to joke but it was probably joke you know, I, ain't, I ain't gonna say it, but don't call check too much you know don't call foul too much nowadays you might catch a bullet don't care i ain't gonna lie to you you might catch a bullet to the head not a basketball you might catch some shots some hollow tips if you call foul too much you know, play too aggressive. So watch the tone y'all playing with nowadays. And, you know, um, I feel like y'all could come see how this story concludes on its own, man. Because I don't, I already know what happens. They got their get back. I ain't going to say too much, though. I might look like I know a lot. 